What we aim to do is to restore biodiversity, to carry out planting, to recreate the ecosystems that were there before. We have a lot of individual and company supporters who pay us to offset their carbon emissions. We then take that money and grow forests. The carbon isn't sold or traded, it's compensated directly uh, through that forest and its carbon production. We've been doing it for about 20 years. We've always been doing it in Australia. This is our very first planting day outside Australia in New Zealand. Now returning some of those unproductive and important areas of land to, to the natural ecosystem. We're working on a couple of really innovative approaches to, uh, to blue carbon. Now blue carbon is all about mangroves and sea grasses and salt marshes. They sequester carbon at a much higher rate than terrestrial forests do. So we're working on projects right now to be in that space. Very few people in the, in the, in the globe are doing that sort of stuff. We have a, a program of working responses. So our aim is to work with organisations and not compete with them, to grow this biodiversity proposition. Our company, uh, we're with Cardlink, and uh, Cardlink's um, sponsoring Greenfleet in, uh, in a lot of these plantations, and this is the first one here in New Zealand, so we're out here to help out. It's one of those days that we'll look back on in the future and think, well, this is the first day we did it, and how good is that? It's a really exciting time for Greenfleet in New Zealand and conservation groups in New Zealand. It's part of who we are. And so, from a New Zealand identity point of view, very, very important. Mm -hmm.